Welcome to Yoga Stretch, my name is Katie. Today I'm going to talk about tight hips. They say we have tight hips because of our relationships, perhaps with ourselves or others. But tight hips can be caused by other things, such as too much running, perhaps your parents have tight hips, or perhaps you're just getting older. There is some truth to relationships causing tight hips since our emotional muscles are activated and our hips do get tighter through stress and the fear flight response. Now the difficulty is once we've got tight hips, then it becomes, uh, we become tight in our lower back and standing, sitting, walking um, can all become much more uncomfortable for us. So today we're going to spend a little bit of time on the hips and stretching them out. So come and join me in a lying position. So bring ourselves down to the floor. And we're just going to pause for a moment and take a few breaths. I want you to press your elbows in the floor, lift your shoulder blades up and draw them downwards and inwards and flatten your back down. And just place your left hand on your heart center, right hand on the belly, and let's relax those feet and drop them outwards. Just give them a little shake to get the inner thighs working. Start to breathe into the belly. Let your mind focus inwardly on your breath and the movement of your belly up and down with your in and out breath. our right ankle and cross it over our left ankle. Bring the arms into a V position or a T position. And we're just going to move our hips. Just roll them from side to side just two or three times. And then we're going to lift the right hip up and turn our head to the left. So you might need to adjust your hips a little. So this is our crocodile twist. Take three breaths into your chest where you're stretching beautifully. and then lower your back down. Let's change the cross of the ankles and just start to rock the hips from side to side. That's it, beautiful. And then roll the hips to the side and then turn your head the opposite way. You feel that nice stretch around your rib cage and your hips. And let's roll onto our back and just bring our legs a little bit wider than our hips. So just have your feet on the outer edge of the mat. Keep your arms in that same T position and we're going to do our starfish stretch. So now you're going to twist a little bit into the upper body. So take your right hand, lift it up to the ceiling, let's breathe in, breathe out, reach over to your forearm, your left forearm. Then breathe in, lift the arm up and breathe out, lower it down. Breathe in, lift the arm up, and let's try again and see if we can reach a little bit further. Okay, breathe in and breathe out, lower the arm down. All right, one more time, breathe in, lift up, and breathe out. See if we can get the palms to touch. Breathe in, lift the arm up, breathe out, lower that arm down. Let's change sides. So lifting the left arm up, breathe into the ceiling, breathe out. Tap the fingers down on the forearm. Now you need to keep your hips on the floor throughout this. Don't lift your hips up. Breathe in, arm to ceiling, breathe out, open it up wide. Changing sides, let's breathe in, lift and breathe out. Let's try and touch the palm of the fingers. Then breathe in, arm to ceiling, breathe out, nice and wide. Let's lift the arm to the ceiling and now try and touch the palms together. So you're going to need to reach with that top arm. Beautiful, and lift the arm up and back down again. Now we're going to bring our feet back in together and our arms by our sides. Walk your feet to the end position. Then bring your knees to your chest just one at a time and we're going to do a little sequence. Okay, so the sequence is we're going to lift the legs up to the ceiling in a rod pose. Tighten your tummy to get the legs up, 
or hold your legs if you need to. Okay, now from here, we're going to bend the knees and bring them into butterfly pose. So knees come out nice and wide and soles of feet together. Then we're going to bring the legs out into a nice big V. Can you feel the stretch on the inner thighs? And then we're going to bring the soles of the feet together for butterfly pose and knees back to chest. Let's do that again. Lift the legs up to ceiling, rug pose. Knees to chest, butterfly pose, then a V. Beautiful. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees together, and we're going to start again and add a little bit more intensity. So lift your legs up and then reach your fingers to your toes. How are we going in this position? Then bring your knees to your chest, butterfly pose, bring them into a V and reach your arms between your legs. Okay, now let's bring those feet together, butterfly pose and knees to chest. Let's do that again. Reach the feet up, fingers to toes, and then knees to chest, knees wide in butterfly pose, a nice big V pose, reach between your legs, hold nice and strong, pause there. Okay, beautiful. Now let's bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide, then knees together, and let's do that one more time. Legs to ceiling, reach up to those toes, and then knees to chest, Butterfly pose, big V pose, reach between your legs, and then lie down, soles of feet together, and then knees together. Now we're gonna place those feet on the floor. Hands by sides, draw your shoulder blades downwards and inwards, so they're lovely and flat on the floor, and we have a, a, a bridge. Let's breathe into the belly, breathe out navel to spine. Make sure the lower back is flat on the floor. We're squeezing into the bottom part of the buttocks and peel your vertebrae off the floor, floor one at a time. Now make sure you're resting comfortably on your shoulders and a firm squeeze into the buttocks. Okay, lovely. Breathe into the belly and breathe out. Rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Rounding out the lower back. Okay, we're going to add arms this time. So let's breathe into the belly, breathe out navel to spine, start to peel the vertebrae off the floor, and just about when you reach the top, breathe in. Arms overhead, and then breathe out. Float your arms down to the sides as you roll down one vertebrae at a time. Beautiful, arching gently into the lower back, navel to spine. And here we go, we're gonna lift our arms over our head up nice and high. Try to keep your ribcage soft and breathe out. Arms down by your sides as you roll down one vertebrae at a time. Paying particular attention to the lower back. And let's do that one more time. Breathe into the belly. Breathe out. Navel to spine. Feel the vertebrae off the floor and let's lift the arms over the head, hips nice and high and breathe out. Bring the arms back down and roll down. Now this time we're going to leave the arms by the side and place the right ankle on the left knee. Make sure you push that knee away with your hand and bring your toes towards your knee. We're going to roll up and down again. Breathe into the belly, breathe out, navel to spine. Let's peel the vertebrae off the floor. Now squeezing into your buttocks. Can you feel the stretch on the inner thigh? So you want to be stretching the inside of the hips and the outer edge of the hips. So this is a lovely hip stretch. Breathe into the belly, breathe out, roll back down one vertebrae at a time. And we're going to do that again. Breathe in, breathe out, navel to spine, peel the vertebrae off the floor. And let's draw the knee back a little to get a bigger stretch in the hips. And that inner thigh, inside of hips, outer edge of hips. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's roll down again, tighten that tummy as you round out that lower back. Place your foot on the floor and let's change sides. Now your left ankle is on your right knee. Just push your knee away a little with your hand and bring your toes towards the knee. Let's try this side, see if it's very different to the other side. Breathe into the belly, breathe out, navel to spine and peel the vertebrae off the floor. Lifting up onto those shoulders. 
Now drop your knee away a little if you can. Keep your buttocks lifted, don't let them drop down. Breathe into the belly and breathe out. Round your back out. That's it, rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Then breathe in to release, breathe out, navel to spine. Peel your vertebrae off the floor. That's it, beautiful. Lifting up and pausing for a moment here while you let your hips stretch, while we release the hips. Breathe into the belly, breathe out and roll down one vertebrae at a time. Okay, beautiful, place your foot down. Bring your knees to your chest just one at a time, hands behind the knees, chin to chest and just rock yourself up into a seated position. Now in this position we're going to do a cat cow pose. So let's just hold the knees, a little bit different to what we usually do. So let's breathe in, draw the shoulder blades downwards, inwards, open the chest, lift your chin if you can. Make sure your tummy's nice and tight. And breathe out, round your back out, head to knees. Breathe in, lift the chest up, hug those shoulder blades together and downwards. And breathe out, rounding into your back. Let's do that again, breathe in, beautiful. And breathe out, pull the tummy in, round the back out. That's it, lovely. Now from here, we're going to do a tabletop position. So let's slide the hands behind the hips, fingers point forward. You can also have your fingers pointing behind. Okay, we've got a tabletop, but for level one, we're just going to lift our chest up, roll the shoulders back and downwards, and pull your tummy in. That's level one. So if you don't wish to lift your hips, stay in this position. For those who are going to join me lifting their hips, let's breathe in and breathe out. Squeeze the buttocks, lift the hips up. Now let's bring the hips back down again, tap them to the floor and lift up. While we're in this position, we're now going to extend one leg. Now with your chest open, don't let your shoulders sink inwards, your shoulder waist will drop. So you want to keep them nice and open and the hips lifted. Chin can be at chest or you can lower your head back. Just make sure your neck is comfortable. We're going to extend one leg. So you can toe heel your feet just a little bit closer and extend one leg. Make sure your buttocks is nice and firm on the standing leg. That's it, beautiful, and we're going to bend the knee, place the foot down, and let's try the other leg. Keeping the hips up, don't let the hips drop down. Nice and strong for building your buttock strength. And bend the knee, place the foot down, lower the hips down, and let's bend forward. Now I'm going to move back a little bit on my mat. Pull the tummy in, bring your chest to your thighs. Now you can wrap your shoulders around your knees if you can rest your chest on your thighs quite comfortably. Let's bring the toes forward, hold the outer edges of the feet. And we're going to walk those heels away. So you want to get a nice stretch in the backs of the thighs. So the back of the upper legs, so chest to thighs, just drop your head down between your knees. Breathe into your belly and your lower back. You can breathe into all of your back if you wish. Okay, let's release those feet and we're going to slide ourselves up and take our right ankle across our left. Now make sure you're sitting on your sit bones and then we're going to lift our hands up and we're going to take the right hand and cross it over the left so our wrists are crossed and then just place them down. Pull your tummy in, breathe in and breathe out, slide your hands forward. Make sure you've got a nice bend in your elbows like I do. Now some of you are probably quite flexible so you might want to bring your toes forward and hold the outer edge of your feet. I only do that if your shoulders are not lifting up to your ears, that you can keep them nice and low, tummy in, and just rest forward, and this will help you stretch the back of the leg that's on the floor. All right, let's release and slide the hands up the leg. Now we're going to take that right foot to our thigh and bring the left leg out to the side. So here we're getting a nice hip release. 
So we're widening the hips. So one leg on the floor, that stretches one hip and then one leg extended, we're stretching into the other with a V position of the legs. Okay, let's lift up nice and tall and rotate our rib cage to face the shin or center it up with the chest. Bring your toes forward and point your toes at the ceiling. You're gonna breathe in, lift the arms up, breathe out, hands to floor and just let yourself melt down a little bit closer to the floor. Chin to chest, try and stretch the back of your neck. Breathe down to your belly and the lower back. Okay, lovely. I'm going to walk my hands back. Now we're going to do a side stretch. So resting the hand on the shin or the arm on the shin, let's rotate the rib cage and lift that right arm up and over. Now you'll notice that, that you can just stretch to this point where your arm is just over your head and your ribs are getting a nice big stretch as well as your hip. Okay, now for those who can, you're going to hold your big toe. Okay, let's release. Now we're going to take this leg and bring it over that one. And we're going to start with a twist. So wrap your arm around your knee and the other arm behind the back. Let's lift up nice and tall and twist. Breathe into your rib cage. You can drop your chin a little bit towards your collarbone. Okay, twisting forward again. Now, you can either stay in this position, your level one, and or you can join me by bending the other knee. And you do the knee bending once if your knees are okay. Lifting up and sitting down on your sit bones, this is your level two position. And level three is the full um, alert pose. Lifting up and sitting down, making sure our feet are lined up. Then we're going to do a cow face pose. So taking that left hand up, bend the elbow, shoulder blades down, chest lifted, chin tucked in, beautiful. Now I don't want you having a rounded back. So if your chin is down and you're rounding your back, you're not going to be getting the right stretch. So I want you to lift your chest up, shoulder blades downward, chin lifts, and it should be quite comfortable and easy. We're coming into a full cow face pose now. You might like to link your fingers, but if they don't link, just place your hands on your back. Start to breathe nice and deeply right down to your belly. Now, if you can, lean forward, and that's gonna stretch your hips a little bit more. Since our focus is on the hips today, we need to just put an extra little stretch in there for the hips. And then lifting up, beautiful. Let's release those hands and we're gonna to come to a cross leg position. Okay, beautiful. So breathing in, arms up, palms to the ceiling and lower them down. Now, if this is as far as you can bend forward, it's perfectly okay, please just stay here. Try not to force yourself into stretches you can't manage. Walking your hands forward, pull your tummy in and lower your elbows down and then lower your head down, nice and comfortably. Now wait, make sure your shoulders are right away from the ears. The tummy's drawn in, and you're breathing into your back and around your belly. We're lifting ourselves up again and coming into butterfly pose. Now, 
For this one, you might find it'll be a lot better if you bring your legs forward. So we don't put the heels close to the hips. The reason is we're trying to stretch the outer edge of our hips. All right, so let's breathe in and breathe out. Slide your hands forward and just place your hands on the top of your feet. Chin to chest, drop your head down. Now for those who are quite comfortable diving their arms under their calves, just bring them under your calves and hold the top with your feet. Pull the tummy in and lower the head down. So it's quite a lovely posture and I want you to focus on stretching the outer edge of your hips with your breath. So as you breathe in, the hips feel like they're stretching out sideways. And as you breathe out, they release. So we need to have that tense, relaxed movement in the muscles. Okay, let's release. I'm going to come back to our same position as before, but I'm going to face this direction, so I'll end up facing you shortly. Okay, so we're going to have our knees bent. Now, if you're a type of person who has your legs nice and straight on your floor, on the floor, I want you to try this out. Just do something a little bit different this time. So let's bring the chest to thighs, hold the outer edge of the feet, and we're going to slide those heels away, and perhaps we'll get a little bit closer to the floor. Chin to chest, head between the knees. So your heels should be approximately a hip width apart. Okay, beautiful. Now let's slide our hands back up and we're going to cross that left ankle over the right. Lift the arms up. And this time we're going to take the left hand over the right. Placing the hands down, pull the tummy in and slide your hands forward. So just bend the elbows nice and comfy. And if it's comfortable to hold the insteps of your feet, do that also. Lower your head down. Just tuck your chin in slightly. Make sure the back of the neck stays comfortable throughout. Nice big breaths around the belly and the back. Okay, sliding the hands up the leg. And we're going to bring one foot to thigh. Sitting up nice and tall. And bring that leg out into a V. So again, stretching into the hips. So that where the bent knee is, we're stretching that hip. And where the leg is extended into a V, we're stretching that hip also. So let's rotate our torso around. Okay, beautiful. We're going to breathe in. Arms forward, breathe out. And let's settle ourselves into this position. All right, and lifting up now. Taking the back of the hand on the shin, Rotate the ribcage, lift the other arm up and over. Now shoulders away from the ears. You might like your palm forward. And feel the stretch around the ribs and the hip. If you can, you're going to hold your big toe. And we've got a twist, so I want you to lift your chest up, draw your shoulder blades downwards. Wrap the arm around the knee and bring the other arm behind the back, push through the hand nice and tall through the spine, and then we're going to turn our head to look over our shoulder.
Oh, okay, and that's release. Now, you can stay in this position, perhaps even have your leg forward or bring your leg around. We're going back into the same position as we did before. Lift the hips up and let's take a seat. And perhaps you might like to go into an alert pose. So lift the up, lining your knees up, taking a seat with your feet more or less lined up. They should be lined up nice and straight. Let's do the cow face pose on the opposite side now. Lifting your right arm up, bend the elbow. Remember, we need to lift the chest up and lower the shoulder blades down away from ears so we can be looking forward and our chin is parallel to the floor. We should be starting to feel our hips stretching quite strongly now. And then take your arm behind your back for the full cow face pose. You do not need to do the full cow face pose if you don't want to. You can also hold a piece of clothing or a towel behind your back. You can also lean forward and let's work into the hips a little bit more now. And let's lift up and lower the arms down. Bring your legs into a cross leg position. Now we're stretching into the hips again. Breathe in, reach the arms up and breathe out. Float your hands down. Pull the tummy in, and you might like to bring your elbows to the floor, chin to chest, lower the head down. Start to breathe into the belly and the lower back. And let's lift up. Walking the hands back to the shins. Now we're coming to butterfly pose. So this time we're going to keep the heels nice and close to our hips. So you can hold the ankles or link your fingers and hold the feet. So lifting up nice and tall through the chest, lower the shoulders downwards and try and hug your shoulder blades at the bottom uh, together a little bit. Then draw your knees downwards. Beautiful. Now let's draw the knees down just a little bit more. And the knees down just a tiny bit more. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna release. And bring our legs forward, give them a little shake. Let's swing our legs around and come into child's pose. Slide your shoulders towards your hips and tighten your tummy. And let's pause here for several breaths. If you can't manage to lift your elbows up, just place them on the floor. And if you can have them lifted, but make sure you have got those shoulders right away from the ears and your shoulder blades are just hugging a little bit together at the bottom of the blades. Tummies in, try to sit a little bit more on your heels. Big breath around the ribcage and let's lift up into a cat and a down dog. So walk your heels up and down, let's stretch into the ankles. And you should feel a nice stretch in your calf muscles also. Now we're going to lower the heels down first of all. Get our dog nice and comfortable. Slide shoulders to hips, tighten the tummy and bring the chest a little bit closer to the thighs. And so we should be engaging our back muscles, holding us here quite comfortably. And of course the back of the upper arms will be working quite strongly. We want to do a dog twist. Now you might like to just walk your feet a little bit closer, just a little bit, and then take your right hand, hold the outer edge of your knee, or slide it down to your ankle and try to get your weight evenly through your feet and your hand. Take three big breaths here. Now place your hand down, we're going to change sides. 
holding the outside edge of your knee or down to your ankle, trying to keep nice and even through the weight of your feet and hands. Now let's place the hand down, rise up on the balls of the feet, come down to knees and take a little rest in child's pose. You might want to keep your arms nice and long. Shoulder blades towards the hips, tummy nice and firm. Now we're going to look back up into a cat and then a down dog. Let's pause here again for a few breaths. Just make yourself comfortable, a little bit of a rocking movement. Keep the hips and the shoulder blades loose, then come into plank. Now you want to slide the shoulders towards the hips and just squeeze the shoulder blades together at the bottom of the shoulder blades and that will help to flatten your mid back down. So tummy firm, a little squeeze in the bottom part of the buttocks. And let's pause here for a few breaths. If this is a little bit strong for you, pop your knees on the floor. Now from here, we're going to do a side plank. So let's roll the heels to one side and lift the hand up. So I'm on my right hand, lifting my left hand up. This is lovely. Now if you can stay here, that's wonderful. If you find it just a little bit too strong, pop your bottom knee down. Keep your hand lifted. You can lift your leg up also, whether you're in a plank, side plank or the gate pose. Now from here, we're going to do a reverse gate pose. So if you're in a plank position, lower your bottom knee down to the floor. Now lower your top foot down to the floor, lift up, and you're going to bend to the other side. Shoulders are down, chin's tucked in. You can also just bend the elbow and rotate the palm towards me. Perhaps gaze under your armpit. Feel the big stretch in the rib cage and the hip. Breathe into that stretching rib cage. So right on the side of the ribs, big opening. Let's windmill our arms back down to the floor and come back into plank. We're going to do that again on the other side. So make sure you're in a comfortable plank position. Roll your heels to the other side and lift your hand up. Now let's pause in this position. Now if you need to lower your bottom knee down to support your shoulder, please do. You might like to lift your top leg up if you're in the gate pose, perhaps even in side plank. Now we're going to lower the top foot down and if you're in side plank, you need to lower your bottom knee down. Okay, lifting up and we're going to do that reverse side plank. Sorry, the reverse gate pose. Shoulders down, bend the elbow, palm forward. We've got a lovely big stretch in the side. And then lifting the arm up, let's windmill our hands back down to the floor. Coming back into plank and lift the hips up, down dog. Let's pause in our down dog. Just moving from side to side nice and gently. And let's walk our hands towards our feet today and hold the elbows. Now I'm just gonna move forward a little bit. Chin to chest, let the upper body hang down. Now you need to put the body weight forward in your feet. So we don't want the weight in the heels. We want a little bend in the knees. Chin to chest, let the back of the neck lengthen, crown of head to floor if you can. Just move your elbows and torso from side to side. Let's encourage a nice big stretch down each side of the back and into that last spine. We should feel a nice stretch in our buttocks and the backs of our thighs also. Slide the hands down, breathe in and breathe out, tight the tummy and let's slide the hands up the legs. 
Dig shoulders to ears, roll them back and draw them downwards. Now we're going to do some balances. Our first balance will be the pigeon pose and our second balance will be something. Cut, let's do it again. So now we're going to do some balances. The first one is the pigeon balance and the other one is the side wing pose. So let's just place our hands on our hips and roll the right foot forward, tighten the tummy. We're going to cross one leg over the other. Now you can stay with your feet in this position if you wish and you're a little bit wobbly today. If you can do a little bit more with me, just take the ankle on the knee. Make sure you bring your toes forward. Let's lift the arms up, breathe in and breathe out. Pull the tummy in, push the hips back. So I want you to push your hips back as far as you can so we can get a big stretch in the hips. This will help us release those hips. So then you might be able to just get your forearms on your shin and keep your back as flat as you can. So shoulder blades, head towards the hips, firm tummy. Okay, let's breathe in, lift ourselves up, lift the arms up, kick the leg and let the hands back to start position. Breathing in and breathe out. Float the hands back to the hips again. You're going to roll your left foot forward. Cross it over the right. Now you can pause here or you can take the ankle on the knee as you did last time. Bring the toes forward. Breathe in, arms overhead in prayer and breathe out. Pull your tummy in and start to push those hips back as far as you can. Just go down slowly so you can manage to keep your shoulders right away from the ears and just rest your forearms on your shin. If you can't get quite so deep, stay a little higher. Now let's slowly bring ourselves back up again. Kick the leg forward, lift the arms up, float them down to sides, back to chest. And let's take a deep breath in and out. Beautiful, we've got side wing pose now. So hands on hips. And let's roll the right foot forward, bring the knee out to the side, give the buttocks a little squeeze. So the hips come forward. Chest lifts, shoulders are down. Let's lift that leg up. You can hold your leg for level one, just in this position. And you can bring your arm out to the side. Otherwise, you can join me in level two, holding the instep or holding the big toe with your index finger and middle finger. Keep nice and firm. Keep the arms a little lower than your shoulders. And the leg, if you can, extend it out and keep it just about hip height. Now let's float that foot down and a little kick forward, float your arms down. Wonderful. Let's try the other side and see how that is. Roll your left foot forward, nice firm waist. Bring your knee to the side. Let's squeeze the buttocks and tighten the tummy. Now let's lift the knee up and just hold on to that leg. You can flex your foot, bring your arm out to the side for your level one position or your level two, holding the foot or the big toe. And let's extend the leg out. Okay, beautiful. Let's breathe. Lovely, so let's bend our knee, float the foot down. Let's take a little walk with our feet. Give yourselves a shake if you need one. And we're going to um, do a sun salute with some leg strength. So turning around sideways and lifting up nice and tall. So let's bring our feet almost together. Lift the toes up, spread them out and lower them down. All right, lift the chest up, lift shoulders to ears, roll them down, draw them away from 
your ears nice and low and the bottom part of the shoulder blades squeezed together. Chin parallel to the floor, chin slightly tucked in so you can get a little stretch in the back of the neck and balance your head on top of your neck comfortably. Stretch your fingers out, reach them to the floor, draw your shoulder blades downwards a little. That's it, beautiful. Let's take three breaths here. Eyes open or closed. And sun salute. Reaching your arms up, palms touch, and breathe out. Forward fold. Flat back. And forward fold, chest to thighs, and step your feet back one at a time into plank. Draw the shoulders away from ears. Let's breathe in, breathe out, plank the floor. Breathe in, cobra, push through heels and hands. Tuck toes under, breathe out, lifting your hips nice and high. Okay, beautiful. Now we're going to step our feet together and lift the right leg up, three leg dog. We're coming into scorpion so we can stretch our hip, bend the knee, rotate the the hip right up to the ceiling. Look under your arm if you can. And lunge your foot between your hands. Lower the back heel down. Line the heels up and then sweep your arms back. Come to warrior one. Roll shoulders back and draw them downwards. Now let's float those hands down to our hips and straighten the front leg. We're going to do a pyramid and head to knee pose so you can take your back heel, just heel toe it a bit closer and make sure those hips are nice and straight. Let's lift our chest up and drop the shoulder blades down. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's bend forward, just ease yourself into the position because you're getting a very big stretch in the back of that front leg. Kick your hips even. Don't let one hip go up. Nice, even hips. Flat back if you can. Stay here for a little bit more back work. Otherwise, hands on shins or hands to floor and head to knee. Breathe into your back and your belly. Keep your front knee a little bit soft so you're getting a very big stretch in the back of the upper leg. Okay, let's bend the front knee, place your hands on your hips and lift yourself back up. Bend your front knee. You can slide your feet just a little bit further away and we're going to reach our arms forward. Then we're going to take our left hand and draw it back. So this is our archer. So variation of the archer and looking forward over your front middle finger. So you should be drawing your elbow back very strongly and opening the chest. And turn your gaze to your front middle finger. Let's take some breaths here. And shoot your back hand forwards. Open your arms up, warrior two. Just a little adjustment in the feet and the hips. So hips are now facing sideways. A little squeeze in the buttocks, tight tummy, shoulder blades downwards. And then turn your gaze over your front middle finger. Beautiful. And now we're going to straighten the front leg, breathe in, reach forward as far as we can, breathe out and windmill. So you want to get your body in the right position first, your torso, and then straighten your arms out rather than bending as you lift your arms into your triangle position. So do one thing at a time. Now we're going to reach up with our arm. Reach up as high as you can. Bring your arms back into T position. Lift your arms up, bring your hands down to the floor, front foot back into down dog. And then let's crouch, look between our thumbs and you can walk your feet forward or jump your feet, forward fold, flat back, 
and forward fold. Sun salute, lift up and breathe out, hands to sides. Back to chest in prayer. I'm going to step back just a little bit. Okay, let's start again. Sun salute and swan dive, forward fold. Chest to thighs, flat back and then forward fold. Step back, left foot, right foot, plank. Breathe in and breathe out, plank to floor. Breathe in, cobra. Tuck toes under, breathe out and down dog. Move your hips from side to side. Just loosen up and now step your feet together. This time the left leg lifts up. We've got a scorpion, bend the knee, rotate the hip. Go under your arm. And then lunge your foot between your hands. Lower your back heel down. We've got a warrior one, so make sure your feet are firmly placed before you sweep your arms back and lift up. Roll the shoulders back and downwards. Big stretch in the fingers and palms. Now flex your hands down to your hips, straighten your front leg. Now you can heel toe your back foot a bit closer, just so your hips feel nice and even at the front. Now draw your shoulder blades down and lift your chest up. Breathe in and breathe out. Tighten your tummy and bring yourself to a flat back position. Again, checking that you are nice and flat in your hips. Mid back drawn down strongly. Back muscles working. And you can stay here or hands on shin. Hip to knee with hands on the floor. Let's take a few breaths here. Okay, let's take one hand on the hip, then the other. Lifting up and bend your front knee. You might like to slide your back foot a little further away. Then reach your arms forward, shoulders downwards. Then we're going to take our right hand and draw it back. So we've got it at chest height, a little bit below. And we've got a nice stretch in the chest. And we're squeezing into the shoulder blade at the back. We're squeezing the shoulder blade towards the center of the spine. And shoot your back hand forward. Open your arms up, warrior two. You can widen your legs a little. Make sure you're squeezing into your buttocks and your front tummy's firm. Shoulders are downwards. Okay, beautiful. Let's straighten the front leg. We're going to breathe in, reach forward for triangle. Now you need to reach as far as you can. Your hips go backwards, then windmill into position. So try not to move your torso after you've reached forward as far as you can. Now let's lift up through the side of our body, sweep back arm forward, breathe in, breathe out. Hands to floor, front foot back into down dog. Now we're going to pause here for a moment and then bring one knee forward for a hip stretch. Slide the back leg away. So ideally your toes are forward and if you can get your heel in line with your knee, you're welcome to do so. Otherwise, slide it back like me. Toes are forward. Let's rest on the elbows. Make sure your shoulders are right away from your ears and stack your fists, rest your head on top. Stack your hands, rest your head on top. Perhaps even extend your arms forward. Now breathe into the belly and the lower back or the back. Keep the shoulders comfortable and down so we're not working into shoulders as well. Just the hips, we're stretching our hip. Again, this is a lovely hip release. OK, 
hand lifting up again, I'm going to tuck the back toe under, come back into down dog, and then bring the other knee forward for a hip stretch our side. Make sure your hips are nice and even, and then come down to your elbows, stack your fists, or even just rest your head on your hands, but shoulders draw away from ears, tummy in. You can have arms extended. Okay, and lifting up. We're going to sit down and bring our leg around. Right, we're ready to go and lie on the floor. So let's take the hands behind the knees. Breathe in, lifting up and breathe out. Pull the tummy in, walk the hands down the backs of the legs and bring the knees to the chest. Give them a nice big hug. If you can, lift your legs up to the ceiling and bring them into a V position. So we're back to stretching our hips. We need to release the hips. This is a wonderful way to help stretch them out. You can stay here, or you can lift up into a shoulder stand with thumbs around the waist, fingers around the back, and bring your legs back into your V position. Bring those legs together knees to nose, roll yourself back down and let's come into happy baby. So knees are a little wider than hips, you can stay here or slide your hands to your ankles for level two or level three, hold your feet. Now draw your navel down, slide your shoulders towards your hips and rest your lower back on the mat. Rock from side to side and we're finishing off with this last, or second last, hip release. Now bring the soles of your feet together. This is the last hip stretch. Soles of feet together. Knees drawn away from the torso towards the hips. Now you can release your feet to the floor in butterfly pose, or you can have your feet as wide as the mat and drop your knees inwards. Now let's press the elbows in the floor, lift the shoulder blades up, hug them together, flatten them down and take the left hand on the heart center, right hand on belly, and rest the elbows on the floor. Lift your head up, tuck the chin in, lengthen through the back of the neck and place your head down. Start to breathe into the belly. Extend your legs. Oh. Move comfortably onto your mat. Make sure you're nice and comfy. Your shoulder blades are flat. And you can leave your hands on your chest and on your waist or just bring them by your sides. Perhaps palms up. It helps to keep the shoulder blades flat. Otherwise you can have your palms down if it's more comfortable. Relax your feet outwards so you can get those hips nice and relaxed. Start to breathe into your belly. You can to either turn off the video now and enjoy relaxation for 5, 10 or 20 minutes and turn your video back on and join me to finish or just stay with me now to finish. Let's move the fingers and toes and bring the breath down to the belly.
Then walk your feet to the end position and roll to your side. Then lift yourself to a seated position. And just rest your hands on your knees. Just lift your chest up gently and drop your chin slightly towards your collarbones. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed and downwards. Let's lower the hands down towards the floor and breathe in, lifting the arms up. Overhead in prayer and breathe out, hands down to chest, thumbs to heart centre. And let's take three deep breaths together. Breathe into your belly into the rib cage, collarbones and back and breathe out. Breathe into the belly, rib cage, shoulders and back and breathe out. Take one more deep breath at your own pace. And have a peaceful heart and a peaceful mind and a wonderful day. Namaste. Thank you for joining me in yoga stretch and releasing your hips. If you enjoyed the video, press like and make a comment. Or you can subscribe to my channel and join me with further updates. Make sure you do join me again.